What is going on everybody, EK1Gaming here, and we're back with another tutorial on how to change your location on your mobile device, whether that's iOS or Android, to be able to utilize games such as Pokemon Go, Jurassic World, Harry Potter, anything location-based, you're going to be able to change the location and go wherever you want in the world. On top of that, you're gonna have access to a joystick, which means you can move your character and simulate walking movements. Also set yourself routes with two spot and multi-spot movements. And again, you can also teleport to wherever you like. This is a major piece of software if you wanna get those regional Pokemon, you wanna hatch eggs, you wanna do anything on Pokemon Go, trade with your friends if you're not local, and if you're in a secluded area, this is even better. Now the link to this piece of software will be in the description below. This is Mock Pogo, and it is an absolute fantastic piece of software. So there will be a free trial, and there will be a paid version. Today, we are showing you the fully paid version. So if you want all the features that we've got today, go ahead, check out their pricing plans. If you do enjoy the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and let's get straight into it. So as I previously said, to download the software, all you need to do is click the link in the description below. It's gonna take you to this page here, which tells you a little bit about what Mock Pogo can do. Now I will highlight this is for iOS and Android, and it's also available on Windows and Mac. As I said earlier, there's a free download and also a paid version. So what you can do with this software is you can change GPS location on your iPhone or Android. You can simulate GPS movement using a joystick. You can also control multiple devices at the same time. This is particularly good for Pokemon Go, Harry Potter, Jurassic World, Tinder, Grinder, whatever you want to change your location on, this software is the one for you. So once you've downloaded the software, all you're gonna to wanna to do is open it up. Now this is what you are gonna be faced with. You're gonna be able to go into the software, but first you will have to tick the disclaimer. Now the disclaimer is stick to cooldowns. If you have never spoofed before and you don't know about changing location, go ahead and watch my cooldown guide. It will be linked in the description below as well. It is really important if you find yourself not able to spin stops or catch Pokemon, it means you're not sticking to the cooldowns. This also means don't overuse the software. There is always a chance of getting bans on games such as Pokemon Go. So once you've read the disclaimer, tick it, click start, and then you're gonna select your type of device. Now today we're gonna be using an iPhone 14 Pro Max on the latest iOS update so we're going to click ios just ensure that your mobile phone is connected to the same wi-fi as your computer as you can see mine is here then click next and what it's going to do is basically going to just download the data and make sure that you're connected correctly now for me it's not pinging my location exactly where i am in fact this is quite far from my location as i am based around this area here so don't worry when you first log in it's not always 100 percent accurate at the location you're currently at now as you can see on here there are a few menus at the top teleport mode two spot mode multi-spot mode and jump teleport mode as well as gpx historical records favorites and much much more we're going to go through each one of these with you today to show you exactly what the software does but first of all let's get up pokemon go on the screen so you guys can see it actually working so right now you can see we have pokemon go on our screen and where i live is actually really bad for pokemon go there's not really much going on at all so the first thing we're going to talk about is the teleport mode so make sure this mode here is ticked at the top which looks like a sniper and then go ahead and type in a location today we're going to go for zaragoza once you've found it, it's going to be in Spain here. Just click it. And then when it finds it here, you can click anywhere in that location and just press go. Now, when you press go, you can see Pokemon Go basically just teleported me instantly to this location right here. Now, this is going to be your personal preference. You can go to New York. You can go to San Francisco, wherever you want. We will be running a video which tells you the best locations to go for your spoofing needs now if it's not busy just simply move or go somewhere different you can click here and click go again 
And as you can see, I've just teleported again. Now, it will auto load and quickly load up the poke stops and everything else around you. As you can see, this is also not a good area. So you can just keep on clicking different places to make sure you get a very, very good location. So let's go here because this should be more populated right now. So as you can see, we're teleporting, simple clicks, and just click go. Now, with the software as well, when you're teleporting, just be sure to be careful with those cooldowns. As I mentioned earlier on the video, watch that video on cooldowns before going ahead and teleporting to different locations. So now you've found a spot that you like. Now, this is quite populated here. Zaragoza has some very good hotspots with a lot of poke stops. So as you can see around here, there's a lot of poke stops around, a lot of activity. So what do we do next? Well, what we want to do is, of course, do movement. So we want to use the joystick, which is at the bottom left of the screen. You can simply set this into a way that you want to face. So it's straight on. You can either click play and he will just walk that route. So he will literally just carry on walking straight. Or if you stop it, what you can do is go ahead and move just by using the click buttons here. So you can click forward. You can click back. And of course, make sure you set your speed at the bottom. Do not put this over 15 kilometers per hour if you want to hatch eggs. If you don't want to hatch eggs, you can put it on whatever you like. If you're just going out catching Pokemon. But as you can see now, I shall walk a bit faster. What I will say here as well is I'm doing something that you probably shouldn't do. And that is walking across buildings. Try not to do that. So if you are controlling it, try just to go down paths and roads to prevent any kind of bans or any kind of issues when it comes to being flagged for your location. So once you've found a Pokemon, you can basically stop or continue the walk. And then you can actually catch the Pokemon. So if the Pokemon flees straight away and you can't spin stops, again, go back to the cooldown. Make sure you're sticking to that cooldown video and making sure you're sticking to all of those rules. Now, as you can see, we caught this Pokemon. That's fantastic. This is an alt account. I would recommend doing this on alt accounts, not on your main. And then what you can do is you can transfer your items to your main account afterwards. So just become ultra friends with each other and then go ahead and uh, transfer all of your Pokemon that you want to keep. So as you can see here, we've got more Pokemon. We've got uh, Poke Stops, which you can spin here. So it's fully working and an absolute amazing piece of kit. Now, if you want to set yourself a route, so say you want to go from A to B, you just click two spot movement at the top here. And say, for example, I want it to walk all the way to the bottom of the road here and then all the way back. You just basically click where you want it to go and click go it will open up this menu how many times do we want to do it well we want to do it 10 times it's going to tell us the distance it's also going to be a b a or a b a b it depends on how you want to do it and then you want realistic mode to be on this will vary your um speeds and it will also vary your route to make sure you're sticking to those paths and areas so as you can see we're here now and it's going to go all the way over so all he'll do now once you click that is start walking. So basically the route that he's going to walk is going to stick two paths to um, places where you can walk in real life. And then as you're walking down, you can click on Pokemon. You can spin stops. You can do anything you want to do. And he will continue walking in the background. Just bear that in mind. So if you do want to be extra careful, I would stop him from walking. And then I would continue that afterwards after you've caught the Pokemon. Now you can click this button here and it will open up the menu again. And that's where you can pause. You can go, you can change it. You can also set the route as a favorite if you like. Now, if you want to hatch eggs, what you're going to want to do then is go ahead and click multi route. Now this is good. So say we've got an area where we want to travel around the whole area. So we want to go down to this one again. But then we also want to go over here, then over here, then here, here, and here. So for example, we now have multiple spots that we're going to visit. And then when we click go, it's going to open this mode again. Realistic mode again is very worth doing. So always select realistic mode, loop how many times you want to do it, and then just click go. Select your speed at the bottom. You can speed that up and slow that down as you're moving. But basically what that's going to do is just move around those locations. So if you've got eggs hatching, you can literally open this up. You can see how far it's going to be. 
so it's going to be 1000 meters so basically if you say went for um you wanted to hatch a 20k egg just make sure it's got 20k there and then so forth so basically it's just leave it on if you want to you can set this route to go around a thousand times if you like and go off and take part in whatever you want to do for the rest of the day now, for me, I use this a lot for catching Pokemon and spinning stops um, and basically hatching eggs at the same time, which is very, very useful. Now, on top of that, we have the jump teleport mode. Now, a jump teleport mode is basically you can jump different places. So say we go to here, then here, then here, then here. You can click go and it will give you an option. So auto jump after cooldown ensure that that is always checked because what it's going to do is not going to move you to the next location until the cooldown says it's fine to move now you won't get flagged so click go we've moved to one spot now you'll pick better spots than this you'll find hot hot spots that you like there's nothing really around me at the moment here but just find the spots that you like and as you'll see it will just basically wait a time which is right in the middle here so it's saying that the cooldown for this was 1 minute 14 seconds. So after that timer runs out, it's going to ping us to the next area, which was over here somewhere, which is number two. So it's going to take us from there to there. So as I'll wait this out for you so you can see it. But as I say, always make sure that cooldown is ticked because you really don't want to get banned from such games as Pokemon Go and Jurassic World Alive. You can still do things while you're waiting here. So I could catch that Pokemon if I wanted or I could spin some stops. It depends what you want to do. You can also move around with the joystick around that location. But once that time is up, that's auto going to click us into number two and then number three and then number four or however you have it set out. Now I will say now if you want any help with Pokemon Go spoofing, join our Discord server our discord server has 100 iv feeds coming in it has also uh, help for spoofers meeting new people trade zone and much much more so go ahead follow the link in the description to discord as you can see now we've just teleported again so we're at number two this is particularly good if you want to literally just go from place to place and just keep st like stopping at different locations that you've found so basically click off that and click on gpx and this is where you can upload any kind of GPX file that you've saved. So if you've used a different piece of software and you want to upload um, that or export that into here, what you can do is import a route or whatever you want, whatever it may be, your hotspots and stuff like that. So basically use GPX for that. Historical, uh, historical records is now where you've just been. So if you liked any of these, you could favorite it and it will just go into your favorites. Um, any routes that you like say I really like that route that was perfect you can name it and then you can just save it and then come back to it in the future very good function to have now the star mode here is your favorite so as you can see I've favorited one location and one route so if I want to go back to that location I'll just click go go and it takes me right back to where I was the place that I favorited now what you will do be able to do is do this all around the world if you zoom out you can go anywhere in the world literally so you might want to go and watch a video that shows you the best locations but always stick to this cooldown timer here as well it will tell you the cooldown that you need to wait before teleporting again now to end all this all you have to do is simply turn your phone off and back on and it will reset your location to where you originally are. so that has brought us to the end of this tutorial i really hope you've enjoyed some of these absolutely fantastic features on mock pogo if you do want to download it again the link will be in the description below don't forget to join our discord if you want those 100 iv feeds trade zones meet new people and have any questions about spoofing and also leave me a comment in the comment section below telling me your favorite pokemon of all time with all that being said thank you so much for watching take care enjoy and I'll see you in the next video.